Hi guys, it's Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. And today I have a new frog order that was sent to me, um, a promotional thing. They wanted me to adver advertise their website again. I'm more than happy to take some free diamond paintings to show their wonderful products because I do like them and I've had a few in my cart that I really wanted but I didn't quite want to pay as much as what they were asking for them so I was able to pick those and so those are the ones that were sent to me at least that's what my order says we're gonna open it up and see I got this um, April 3rd I didn't realize it was the one that that's who this was from because of the fact that it got here super quick I wasn't expecting it to be here that fast um, I ordered well I had talked with him on about March 23rd um, the order went in on March 25th and was shipped March 25th and it was received April 3rd so it took nine days from the time the order went in and it's just regular shipping. Um, although I don't recognize these labels. This says it came from um, Santa Fe Springs, California. But I don't know what, because it, it, the shipping, the tracking thing says it came from China. So I'm not quite sure. Um, I have another one in that I placed a few days later and it already arrived as well, but unfortunately they mail people put it in the wrong box or something because I don't have it because I placed an order myself of some of the other ones that I just didn't want to wait any longer for so let's see what we got here I got something very large I think I know which one that is. Um, this one's pretty big too. That one's about normal size and that one's about normal size. All right, let's, I always like to go from smallest to biggest. So let's start with this one and see if I can find which one it might be. I have a 45 by 30. Uh, 30 by 40 and so that must be this one one of these 30 by 40s oh I'll just open it and look and find the top here we go all right we got we got us a toolkit basic of basic toolkits All right, very um, stiff canvas. This one is one that I call, yeah, this is my smaller one. This one's called, I called it Painted Beauty. And it's $7.10. It says it's a 30 by 40, but the drill area is 33 by 24. And it should have 24 colors and it should be a full round. And this is what it looks like. Um, this kind of goes along with the eye theme that I really like. Plus, it kind of looks like a mask, like a Mardi Gras sort of thing. So, plus I loved all the vibrant colors. So, that's why I picked this one. And, we got our drills. And, like I said, this is thicker. So, these ones have a harder time laying flat. I end up always rubbing them on the edge of the table like this and since it doesn't get these corners I'll then go this direction and rub it all right so there we go it's as far as it's going to be for now I'll mess with the cover when I go to put it away. It does have 24 colors. I love how they have simplistic codes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. 
A-F-H-J-K-L-N-P-R-S-T-U-V-X. Letters and numbers. That's my kind of key. All right, so here's the drilling area. As far as we can see, this is all pretty clear. You can read everything nicely. I'm not seeing anything. Let's see, F and P kind of get mixed up. But P, look what they did with P. So it's not going to be mistaken for an F. So the green in the middle, the bright green, it's got a circle around it. Yeah. So these do have training wheels on them. Um, on most of them, some of them, they probably have them on there, but they're just, they bl probably blend in with the letter because um, it's probably the same color. So just a couple of them, you can't see the wheels. But for the rest of them, I like that. I do like it because then I know exactly where that drill is supposed to go. But compared to the picture, I think this looks like it's going to look pretty good. I mean, there is quite a bit of detail up here. And that might be the only area, well, you can still see quite a bit of detail. Um, the hat doesn't look quite like what it looks like in the image. Um, yeah, it's, in fact, this image over here looks a little different mm. from the one that was on their website. So, mm. I think this image is more true to what it'll look like on here, but, um, because on here it shows the hat is different shades and, and it just, it does show more detail in the picture, but on the thumbnail and on the actual canvas, it's probably more true to what it's going to look like. I mean, obviously this is pretty true to what it's going to look like. The face looks a little bit more elongated on this, but um, I still think it'll turn out nice. Something to put in my portfolio when it's done. Because it is the correct size of 30 by 40 that will fit in there. And because this the drill area is actually only 33 by 24, it definitely will fit, will fit in there. The whole canvas is 30 by 40. So... Either way, it would fit in there. Okay, these do have DMC codes on them. We've got 152 and then 310 and 311. I don't see 311 very often, if ever. And let's just count through, make sure there's 24, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's that teal color. One of those teals that I like. 21, 22, 23, and 24. So yeah, all the colors are here. Um, these yellows aren't as bright as I thought they would be. They're pretty um, muted. They actually look brighter in the camera than they actually are. But, uh, let's see, V is 23. So this right here is not uh, quite as bright as the canvas shows it would be. Um, 9 is the other major, which is more of an orange. That is definitely an orange color and not yellow. Uh, but the mixture might work out. I mean, I'm a little disappointed in the colors not matching, um, especially, I mean, the, col the colors in here, it's this color right here that kind of throws me off because that's more of a, you know, a toffee color. But the picture, it shows more of a yellow. I mean, that's probably my only disappointment on this. But I do think, I mean, the eyes look really good. And 
I think I think it'll come out pretty darn clear even with all of the details in the flower and the leaves I think it should it should look really good when it's done so let's move on to the next diamond painting Uh, you never wrap these back up the way they came. Oh, it looks like I did. And there we go. Okay. So we'll set this one to the side. I'm just killing time until my live... I go live in about an hour and 15 minutes. So I thought I would do some unboxings for you. You've probably already watched the live... And moving on to, this will probably go up this evening after the live shows, after I post the live. All right, another simple toolkit, That's all you need to draw diamond paint. All right, this one. I believe. Let me double check to make sure so I can show you the right thing. Yeah. This one was $7.33. It's a 45 by 30, but the drill area is 35 by 24. I'm not sure if it's round. It does, it did say full, but it didn't say if it was round or not. But these, um, it looks like it's going to be round. I'll see in a minute. But this is what it's going to look like. It's that time of year, so I thought I'd get myself an Easter diamond painting. And those are really pretty colors. So I'm hoping they're as bright as the picture. So let's open this up again. This is another one of the stiff ones that's a little harder to get straightened out. Yep, it is round. So 24 colors in this one as well. I didn't know how many were in this one, or I just didn't bother to look. And you know that sometimes when you pull the cover back, you can get it to flatten out better, a little better. So yeah. All right, so we've got a lot of pretty colors. And because the wording is really big, this is definitely going to show up. We'll definitely know what it says. Again, we've got numbers and letters for our key. Love it. I can read these um, symbols no problem whatsoever. There's not a problem reading this one. Let's see if I can get past the edging. Show you something here. There you go, kinda. There. Look how clear that is. So, let's look at the colors on it. Now this has just as many colors as the last one, but these ones should be brighter. Yeah, see this yellow is more of the yellow I was expecting on the first one. But these have a lot of pastel colors, which is what you'd expect for Easter eggs. So, let's see. They've kind of rubbed up against each other, so some of the numbers are transposed onto the others. So, it does have DMC colors, DMC codes on them. We've got nice purples and greens and reds and yellows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You don't see this color very often. 772, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I love those colors. The seafoam green. And then we got a lime green. And 21, 22, 23, and 24 are greens and blues. We've got the teal color again and that beautiful blue. And this is the darker teal. 3, 8, 4, 6. And we've got a green. 
So that looks good to me. I really like it. Um, it's got 939 in it. I don't think it has any 310 though. Nope, no 310. All right. So that's a winner. Let's put that to the side. Now we're gonna go up another step in size to a 40 by 50. And this one, you can choose the size. They have 30 by 40 and then 40 by 50. And this is one that I have been interested in getting for a long time, not just from New Frog, but I've seen it elsewhere. And I know that getting it smaller would not give the detail. And, and I'm hoping that the image that they showed on the website is the one from the 30 by 40 because, oh, there's a missing drill here, a loose drill. I think it was from that other bag but so I'm hoping the 40 by 50 is a lot clearer and we're gonna be able to see the detail in it because I really love this image but it is detail um, intensive it was eight dollars and 33 cents for the 40 by 50 it is a full drill it says that the drill area is 35 by 45 and it is full I call this hands in mountain I love these kind where it, you know, it mixes something um, in your hands that's like not should, shouldn't be there, like the mountains and the, or like where there's a lady laying down and her hair ends up being the water or someone's laying down and they're like blanket is the ocean. You know, those kinds of things I really like, but I know I'd have to get it really big for the detail to look good. So... That's why I've never really ordered them, but we're going to see what this looks like now. It does feel really large and it's thicker and um, it's not as thick as the last one, but it's still pretty thick. So far, this looks really good. So I'm going to get a better view through the viewfinder on what it'll turn out to be like. I think this is one where I'm just going to have to do it to find out because I really can't tell through the viewfinder, but it is really large and it's got the same drill kit. It's 19 colors, so that means there's good amounts of blocking, color blocking in here, which makes me happy, as you may know by now. Um, this cover is on here really good. I mean, it's pretty... Uh, it feels like one piece because there's no air in between here. So these wrinkles, um, it may be too stuck. Sometimes when it's like this, it, it may have been left in the hot warehouse for too long, but let's see, it's coming off nicely, but the glue kind of came off of it when I pulled it back there. That is interesting. I've never seen that happen before. still sticky but that's interesting yeah that that makes me think even more that it's been in a um, somewhere where it's been hot wow because these kind generally the glue is poured on and then used you know scraped on like that instead of a sticker but it feels like it maybe it got melted at some point it's it's still sticky so that's important that's good and it's flat still just kind of pushing down those areas that look like they may have come up but this is another reason why you want to pull them back to see if there is damage and um this looks good so there's no wrinkles oh i thought i turned the my phone off oops i just turned off <laughs> so what did I do? I turned off my Wi-Fi. And I have glue on my fingers, so now it won't work. I'm just trying to turn off my sound. Hold on here. Sound. Where is it? Things moved around on here, that's why. Okay. Whatever I was saying, but... Anyway. A lot of static on this. I can feel it. Look at that. It's sticking to my shirt. 
which I love my new shirt. I got it um, on my trip this last weekend. The only, there's really nothing out there except a Dollar General. And we went there and killed some time before the party because, you know, we had to be checked out of our hotel by 1130. Party didn't start till one. We still got to the party an hour early, but we checked out around 11 and killed some time over at Dollar General. Found some cute clothes there. I, I was really surprised and this was 70% off. Um, it's actually a 3X. I did not know they had, you know, bigger sizes there. I didn't even know they really had clothes. I knew they had shoes because I got cute shoes for Tesla last summer at the one over here by me. But I saw a 2X and I'm like, oh, that looks like it'll fit. But I like my clothes, you know, baggy. I like to swim in them. Um, but not to the point where they're falling off my shoulders. So... I looked and, oh, they did have a 3X, so I got it. And it was only like, let's see, it was $12.50 minus 70%, so that was like, okay, I bet you you could do the math a bit faster than me. Let's see, $2.50 and it's $5, no, $1.25, so $2.50, $5, and then... Half of that, so half of seven fifty, so about eight bucks off. So it was only four dollars. So really, a really good price. It's a hoodie, and it's bright pink that I love, and it says "Good Vibes," and it's got some stripes on the. Sh yes. Anyway, I love it. It's comfortable, and I'm it's I'm just jazzed anytime I can find clothes that fit me. <laughs> So anyway, I better get moving because we have seven minutes left on this clip. I'll fix the other half later, but I'm excited to do this because of the color blocking. And I've been trying to find more paintings where there's bigger areas of one color. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I do. I love it. I, I hate color change, even though color changing it and confetti that is involved with a lot of detail and it gives detail and in and depth to paintings and I do have a lot that are like that but I also enjoy but I do enjoy doing the color blocking and I look forward to it so when I do my heaven and earth design when I get back to doing it I'm gonna have plenty of confetti to deal with so um, yeah I was I'll do that later let's just look at the colors here I'm pretty I, I've never had an issue where new frog has not included all the, the drills But we'll look anyway, just to count them, to make sure. Uh, 19 colors, so there's number 19. They do have DMC colors, I mean codes on this one. Not all of the New Frog um, paintings will have the codes. And so that's why I always check, because some do, some don't. And I always write it down, too. And this one, all three of them have so far, so that's good. So we have two bags of number one, which is going to be this area down here. We do have 310. So number three, four, five, six. We've got some earth tones. And ooh, the blues for the sky. Seven, two of, two of number eight. So that's gonna be this. Oh, no, that's seven. So where's eight? I don't even see eight on here. Oh wait, eight is A, that's why. All right, okay, so, I don't know why there's two bags of A. I Okay, so A is mixed in down here, if you can see that. So it's the color um, down, part of the color of the sky here, A, A and K. A is mixed in, but I, don't see it being two bags worth. I, seven has more. Seven has a lot, and I'm kind of afraid this isn't enough. But there's a ton of A, but there isn't a ton on here. So that's a little concerning that there might not be the right. Maybe they should. They were supposed to put two bags of seven and one of eight. I don't know, but there's 9, 10, 11 more earth tones, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I know a lot of the people like to order from New Frog because they like the par the partials, the round partials. Uh, I only own, I only order fulls from them. Once in a while, I will get a partial if it's like a rhinestone special shape one, or if it's just an image that I think is full enough to where it being a partial is okay. So I have a, a ton on my wish list that are fulls. So if you like full, you can find fulls here. There's that, that's not a problem. It's um. They have partials and full. Um, it's not often that you'll find a square, but they do have them. And sometimes the description will tell you. But when I was checking these last night, because I was getting all the descriptions written down last night, a couple of them didn't have it listed whether they were, they were square or, or round. So that's not something sometimes you take a risk on what it's going to be. But I, I don't mind square or round. But, you know, like I said, lately I've been preferring rounds because I like to use the the wheel tool works better with the rounds for me. And also the mesh ruler is, is only four rounds. So that is why rounds. I'm, I'm just kind of enjoying having a little break from squares. But I'm actually working on a square right now on my Topsy Turvy. So... I'll enjoy the break from the squares when I um, start with something new because I have one, two, three, four projects in the work right now that are squares. I don't actually have any rounds. I did have seven projects in the work. Um, no, actually one, two, three, four, five. I have five diamond paintings that are squares because the other two I finished. So. Um, well, yeah, the other two. I finished one, my car project, and I finished my Tinkerbell, and those were both rounds, so now everything I'm working on now is all squares. So I will be looking forward to doing something round in between. All right, this is the ginormous one. Uh, I'll tell you about it here first before we open it. It was fifteen dollars and fifty eight cents. Has the thing the picture showed it had eighteen colors, and it's it is a full round. You can see, and it's very muted colors. It's very grays, as you can see. This is um, actually a ninety by forty five. Alexa, cancel timer. Twenty eight minutes timer canceled. So it's a ninety by forty five, and this is what it looks like. I love tigers. If you couldn't tell. I'm a cat person and tigers are, you know, in that family. So I love the white tigers, especially. This looks like a white Siberian, Siberian tiger. I'm not sure, but it's beautiful in the snow. And even for the size of this, $15 is just, you, you know, where can you get a 90 by 45 for $15? Well, yeah, I've seen it where you can get something that big on sale, but not for a normal price. I'll be right back. My clip is about to end. All right, so let's open this canvas up and see what we got. Like opening a present. They've got it taped pretty good. All right. This toolkit actually came with a couple of baggies. That's so funny. There's like three bags in there. <laughs> That's cute. All right. There's a lot of drills. Okay, so I'll probably measure this one just to see how, how big the actual drill area is because I don't know if I checked. I don't think I checked it. Um, I did write it down for the others as you heard. Oh, Teslin's home. I didn't realize it was three o'clock already. So let me just go out and make sure she's here and I'll be right back. All right, she's all settled in now. This this canvas is more, more um, 
it's thinner, it's more flexible. It's not so plasticky. And it does have 18 colors, which is what I had written down. They named this beauty. Oh my gosh, that detail. Look at those, those trees are so detailed. Oh my gosh. Tesla, I need you to turn that down, please. Thank you. And here we go with the tiger. Oh, this is going to come out so good. I don't even mind that the colors are kind of bland because it is a black and white, you know, image. There's a little bit of purple in there, in here. Um, the V's in here are the, a purple color. A violet, light, very light purple. But oh my gosh. I think this looks beautiful. Definitely worth $15 in my opinion. So here is the drill field. Let's see, I'll have to pull it down a little bit. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. I really am going to enjoy doing this one, um, especially because it's round. This is an extremely large round. I don't know that I have anything this big as, in a round. Everything um, that I've ordered that's really, really big has always been in square because I was always going by um, something I heard um, mentioned that rounds, if it's um, going to be a smaller size, to get them in rounds because it will look better but if you're going to be getting a larger one you should get it in the square for the detail so um, that's what I always did was ordered really big ones in square Tesla I need you to turn that down more and this one is interesting it goes it veers from the whole um, see this is why you want to straighten it up because this is curling over and I'm trying to place the cover back down and I'm afraid the top is gonna, the canvas is gonna roll over onto the adhesive. I'll have to get it the way I want it later there. Just so I don't, okay. So, because the key, let's see, they do have the key on both sides, which is very good. And they do have symbols, okay? Mom, look, look what I found. Um, yeah, go put those on Daddy's desk, okay? Go put those on Daddy's desk, thank you. They do have this left arrow. And then they have um, an equal sign, a percentage, the and percent, and a dot. Um but they do have a V as well. So that's my only, I mean, it's not hard to distinguish between a V and a sideways V, but I would think that you would avoid having two of the same symbol looking like an, sometimes they'll have a W and an M and then they'll have the sideways E that is like a Greek symbol or the or an, uh, the opposite way that's not even a real symbol or anything here thank you so um okay so other than that everything looks good on this the like I said, this clarity on this, uh, I'm just, I am super excited about it. And as you can see through the viewfinder, how clear this is. I'm, I'm just kind of in shock at how detailed these things can get. So I really do look at, look forward to doing this and let's measure it real quick, which is going to be a little difficult, but I'll give it my best. And see, it starts here, and it's pretty flat, so we shouldn't have an issue with bumps. Error. So it is approximately 84 and a half, 84 and a half wide, 
um, out of 90. So it, it's only taken off like six, centim six centimeters, which is about normal for this, the edges. So 84 and a half is still really big. And <clears throat> this direction, it is about almost 40. So, so it took off about five and a half width wise and about five um, height wise. Length, width, height, whatever. Yeah. Length. So this is the length, this is the width. Height would be this way. Okay. All right. So there's that. I'm going to, I'll flatten it after um, I'm done here. But <clears throat> here are the drills. This is the only one. Let's look at this real quick. Yeah, there's no DMC on this one. So that's why, I, like I said, it's hit or miss with the DMC codes. These bags just have the numbers on it. There are no DMC codes on it. In one second here. My husband just got home, so it got super loud in here. So I just needed to simmer down. Wow, these bags are so full. All right, so we have 18 colors that we need. Um, let's start with number one. Oops, I wanted to talk to someone about this um, in a minute. The contacts and like that. I'll do that on the on my live video. So never mind. Yeah, there's no um, DMC whatsoever. The A eight six one is more than likely the canvas number. Let's double check it up here. I'm pretty sure that's always what it is. So A eight six one. So that's what that means. And the only other number on them on the bags are the number to co correspond with the key. So these are ones where you would need to match them to your DMC chart book if you wanted to put away leftovers. One, two, so here's, there's actually more purples than I thought. Here's one of the purples right here. And then this is more than likely 310 because it's pure black, which I'm surprised there's only one bag. But we do have um, this one, which is probably 959. We've got some browns, lots of grays, darker grays. So anyway, let's see, one, two, three, four. So we have two bags of four, five, one, two, three, four, four bags of five. Number six, we have one, two, three bags of six. And number seven, we have three bags of that. And number eight is, looks like 550. Cause it's that beautiful purple. I, I can't even imagine where that would go on here. But might maybe around the eyes or something. I don't know. There's quite a bit in there. I'm surprised. So there's nine, ten, some browns, two bags of eleven. And then we've got twelve, which is the nine five nine color. 13, we have two bags, which is a very, I think that would be a mauve. I'm not sure what mauve looks like, really, to be honest. But that looks like it would be a mauve. 14 is a brown, which it has a lot of um, overflow from, looks like this color here. 15 has three bags. And then we have 16 with one bag, 17, and then 18. 18 and, and 16 almost look identical. But, oh, I can see. This is creamier. This is more darker. So there it is, guys. Um, 1558 I think, is a very reasonable price for this. If you can get a percentage off or whatever, um, even better. But... It's worth it. The only only downside on um, only downside of this one is there are no DMC colors, uh, DMC codes. Um, I've never received an inventory sheet from New Frog. Uh, it's not necessary, but it is nice to have sometimes. But because they have all their all their diamonds are linked together 
like this, it's quite easy to tell if you have all your diamonds. It doesn't tell you if they've given you enough diamonds of that color. That's the only thing. And um, the only place where I feel that it might be something may have been um, missed or done wrong was on the ones with the mountain hands in the mountain where I think they have too much of the A color but not enough of the 7. So, um, but all in all, I think this was a great um, shipment. I love all four of them. My favorite, I think, is, um, let's see, it's a toss-up between Easter and the Tiger, but I'm going to have to say the Tiger just because um, it's so big and beautiful and... I love it <laughs> and that'll be fun to frame once it ever gets done so there you go guys and thank you again to new frog for sending these kits to me for me to show to my um, viewers here on YouTube I look forward to doing it again for you anytime you want me to do a video for you let me know because I love your products and I love showing them so guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button or the, or the thumbs down button, either one. Um, just let me know you were here and you watched it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, have fun diamond painting. And always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.